Okay, this is interesting. Hard hitting question here, and I have no idea what the answer is. Do I tell the guy I'm dating if I got plastic surgery? If I got a boob job and a nose job, at what point, if ever, am I obligated to tell the guy I'm dating? Okay, well, can I say boob jobs are pretty obvious? Okay, yeah, that's true. Like 99% of them, so I don't don't think it's something you have to say. (laughs) (laughs) Like they're just going to know. Yeah. Although guys can be dumb. Actually, true. I think women notice it, not in like a creepy way, but like you can tell. Maybe men don't. I don't know. Yeah. I guess like women, though, might notice it more because you know what normal boobs look like if you have normal boobs. Yeah. And then if you have these like perfectly shaped, like symmetrical, like sit perfectly, you're like, okay, that's probably a boob job. Yeah. And then the nose job, it's not always obvious. Right. So I don't think you have like why? Why say either? Honestly. Yeah. I think that if it came up and they were like, have you ever had surgery or like, Mm -hmm. I don't know, because that's like an important question. Right. I don't know. Because people that's like a medical history question. Why, Why do they ask that? Like, like, you know how at a doctor's office, they say, have you ever had surgery? And that's like an important question on your medical questionnaires. Yeah, but why? I don't know. Is it important mm. to know that? I feel like if you're dating someone, no. Yeah. But in general. But if you marry them, wouldn't, but, shouldn't, well, I guess they don't need to know your medical history. Yeah, it's like also a vanity thing a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. It's not like you've had a leg amputation. Right. Like a no job. Like, why would someone need to know that? Yeah, I guess you don't need to tell someone something, but also you don't need to lie about it. Yeah. I also just kind of think it's like an interesting thing. Like, I've talked about plastic surgery so many times in my life. Yeah. That if it came up when, like, my boyfriend was in the room, would it be, like, weird to just, like, leave out the... Like, is it a lie to, like, leave out the fact that... I mean, I guess not. I don't think it's a lie. I think if it gets brought up, like if you're sitting at a table and you're talking about it, be like, oh, yeah, like I've had this done. But I don't think you have to say it. And I I don't think you have to lie either. Yeah. But. Well, I think it would be bad to lie. Yeah. Because that's just weird. Like you shouldn't lie. It shouldn't be something to lie about. No. If someone was like, have you had it? To be like, no, that's sketchy in my opinion oh yeah but i think if unless it's like i don't know it's not something that i would just randomly be like yeah i've had this done yeah no me neither actually well i guess i don't know maybe you would though because maybe you'd be like so excited about it if like you had this perfect ass nose job and then like plastic surgery came up and people were like oh people look fake with phil and you'd be like um no look at my perfect ass nose thanks to this doctor like yeah I feel like it's something to be like proud of at the same time, too. Facts. Because also you had enough money to drop ten to twenty thousand dollars on that little swoop in your nose. Right. Right. That's also kind of a flex. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But I don't know. Yeah. I, I feel like that's something that I would be really open about and I wouldn't care. But then also. I, okay, I've like seriously considered getting a nose job, mm-hmm. but then I do have this thought in the back of my head where I'm like, if people think I'm pretty and they know I had a nose job because I would be open about it, yeah, are they going to think I'm only pretty because I had a nose job? And that makes me sad. Yeah. Like, But I'm also like, why does that make me sad? Like, does that make me sad because of like some sort of insecurity or does it make me sad because of like knowing that like society is so judgmental? Yeah. And like not wanting people to have these judgmental thoughts about me. But I'm like, does that also come from a place of insecurity? Like, I don't know. Right. I just think that if I were to get a nose job and I thought that people thought I was pretty only because of that, I would be like having mental like issues because of that. Yeah. I don't know why, though. I can't like put my finger on it. I know know what you mean um yeah i just think in a romantic relationship it's not like super necessary to disclose but then what if you had kids and your kids look nothing like you and you were like what the heck blame it on the man (laughs) yeah true but still it's like you shouldn't want to marry someone because you want your kids to have like the perfect nose yeah yeah so maybe it doesn't really matter right i don't know yeah i think i'd be open about it but yeah you don't have to yeah boobs though i actually think maybe you do have to tell because like aren't some boob jobs like you can't just like squeeze every boob like do you know what I mean yeah like, if someone just got a boob job and you squeeze it like that could really hurt them right true and also aren't there medical effects of yes. some boob jobs like they're yeah. not not everybody everybody separate word like takes well yeah to it 
And there's like there's actually a medical sickness. I don't yeah. remember the term, but it's literally called something like boob job sickness or like breast yeah. augmentation illness. That's like yeah. exactly what it sounds like because people get like very sick. Yeah, I actually think boob job is more important to tell because you have a foreign body within your body and that can be dangerous mm -hmm. and it's not medically necessary, I guess. Right. So, yeah, it's like a foreign object in your body. Right. It's not meant to be there. That's why. And it could hurt you at some point, whereas a nose yeah. job probably isn't going to hurt you no. in the way that that would. No, I agree. Because it's yeah. not like there's not like um, silicone in your nose. Right. It's just like they move things around. Right. Yeah. I think the only thing that could happen is like either it looks really bad or your nostril gets smaller. So it's harder for you to breathe. But that's like your own problem. <laughs> Whereas, like, if you got a boob job, like, the effects of that illness could put you in a hospital. Like, yeah. it's, like, really intense. That's why I think some women get them taken out after, oh, like, yeah. 10 years or something. Yeah, and you're supposed to get it done every 10 years, I yeah. think, too. Yeah, something to think about. It's actually really interesting how normalized boob jobs are because it does seem like something that's, like, yeah, you just put the silicone in and they sew it up and that's it. But, like, it is actually a really dangerous surgery. Yeah. That's why I think you got to get it done somewhere, like, in Beverly Hills or something. Yeah, or just, like, <laughs> extremely reputable yeah maybe not beverly hills though i feel like there's so many people out there that are like celebrity doctor and it's like but are you mm. like i think like go to i'd rather go to like new york or philly to have it done i think interesting yeah well, maybe not i maybe i wouldn't rather but i would trust them probably just as much mm. in new york or like any major yeah. city yeah would you ever get plastic surgery in another country no i don't know what i would even have done and not to say that i'm like no <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I've just never thought about it. Like, yeah. Sometimes I see what these places in Turkey are like. Like, I just saw someone get a hair transplant in Turkey and he made a TikTok about it. It was like a few minutes long. And I was like, wow, this is like amazing. Like, yeah. this facility is like state of the art. Like, it looks so cool. Mm -hmm. And they like really take care of you there. Huh. And I'm like, okay, okay, Turkey. I mean, listen, I could read up on it, let you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find something. <laughs> it is insane how much plastic surgery costs. Yeah, like, it is. Like, you get a nose job. I know. Like, especially in New York or LA, probably is, like, closer to 20K. Yeah. I think in Philly, it's a little cheaper. Yeah. 10K, maybe six. Right. At the lowest. Six, though, I'm almost like, if you're charging six, do you know what you're doing? That's true, too. Because that is one of those things where it's like, you don't want to get the cheapest one. No. Because why are they the cheapest one? That might be a, a place where they aren't like known for nose jobs, but they do right. plastic surgery in general. So they like yeah. offer it on the menu. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't want to go to there. I like want to get a nose job on the surface level. But then when I think deeper, like you really do have to think about all the... But then I'm like, is it that deep to yeah. get a nose job? But then I'm like, I think it is, but I don't know. I think it's one of the less deep ones to okay. get, you know? Yeah. But also a nose can really change your face. So just, you got to like think yeah, about that. I was just thinking that. Yeah. Like if they fuck it up, yeah. you're fucked. At least boobs, like they can either take them out or you can wear a shirt. Right. Like your nose, yeah. they mess that up. Right. You're in it for life. I've seen some housewives with botched noses. Oh. And you can tell. Mm hmm It doesn't like always look better. they multiple nose jobs. Yeah. But then you see someone like Blake Lively, who it's like perfect. She's like the best example of yeah. like when it was done so well. So well. Yeah. And she was pretty before and pretty after. And like people don't even know because mm -hmm. it's so good and like yep. so seamless, like didn't change too much, just enough to yep. like make it stereotypically perfect. Like, yes. so good. So, so good. good. Stunning, babes. Stunning.